Hi guys, we're joined by Fred Rizak, CM Trading Senior Strategist, and he's here to help us all become better traders. Hi Fred, how are you doing today? Good Sergio, how are you? Awesome, always good to have you. you. Um, Fred, I wondered if you could help us regarding que a question that pops up all the time on social media specifically, and that is how do we get into trading? Okay, so I mean, you know, there's several steps that you want to go about. Okay, firstly, you want to find a good broker to work through. Uh, now, there's three factors when you're deciding on a broker. Number one, you have to have a broker that has some sort of regulatory body regulating it. Okay, so it's security. That's your number one priority. You want to make sure that the money that you're depositing with whichever broker that you're opening up with is a reputable company. So number one is security. Number two, you want to make sure that they have good support, that in case that you have someone to speak to, if something happens or something comes up, that you can actually contact. And number three, you also want a competitive broker, someone that will give you the best service for the best price. And that those three factors are generally what I would recommend in deciding and choosing a good broker. Thanks, Fred. Those are really good tips. Um, what advice do you have for first-time traders? You know, those who want to get into the market but are still on the fence. So in terms of that, there's really three words, okay, that I could base it up to. And it's really education, education, and more education, okay? We all start with nothing. We all come into the markets not knowing much. Um, and through time, you accumulate just the technical knowledge, the how-to. Um, and when you've, once you've accumulated that stage of that type of knowledge, you could then move on to the next stage of actually taking some trades and taking some educational classes further on actually how to implement those trades and different type of strategies. Now, you know, this is what's the beauty of the world right now is that everything has been level. The fact that we all have internet today gives us all the opportunity to get all the educational material that we need in order to succeed and to develop our trading skills. Okay, about 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, this wasn't available in the masses and the availability that it's available today. So it's a few factors today that allow us to really tap in to the markets uh, just from anywhere in the world, really. You could be on a deserted island somewhere in you know, in an exotic place of the world, right? And you could be starting to, to trade. And, and really, you could even tap on to Harvard University classes, you know, in the finance realm. I mean, that's just one example, okay? But obviously, you know, in terms of specifically trading the financial markets, there's a lot of really great information in the internet today to allow somebody the entry uh, to participate in uh, trading the financial markets. Awesome. I think that's great advice, especially for anyone out there who's still sort of tentative as to whether or not they want to get into trading. Thanks so much, Fred, and hopefully you guys out there have learned something today. Thank you.